For those of you that are looking for a CRM solution, specifically pipeline deals, it's helpful to get a quick demo to see what the software looks like to, that you're actually going to be using. So I used pipeline deals for a long time as both a sales rep and as a sales manager. I think it's a very easy to use tool and I want to give you a quick demo of how it works. So when you in pipeline deals, you'll be able to click on the people tab here and people is going to show you a list of all of your contacts and leads and you know when you have a big list of people like this you typically are going to want to sort that information because if you're just staring at a list of even 50 people it's hard to know who I should follow up with and how I should follow up and if there's no order to the list then I'm essentially going to be spending time thinking at every step of the way like who is this person what do they need from me how should I follow up with them uh, what's the next step and so filtering the list into smaller segments makes it easier to understand what's next. So for example, I have status right here and I can click this as a drop down menu and I can sort by status. So I could sort and see, um, okay, so these are people that have no status. These are my hot leads, the red ones here. These are my warm leads, the orange ones, these are my cold leads, the blue ones. Green, I have marked as follow up and then black is archived. So that's one way that I could sort, but if I actually wanted to filter this and say, okay, I just want to see my hot and warm leads. So these are the three people that I'm considering hot or warm. Uh, these are probably people that I want to follow up with right away. And Pipeline Deals makes this very easy because you can actually just click this button right here. It's like a contact or a business card icon. And when you click on that, you can see the phone number and email address for this contact. So if you wanted to call them, you could just dial the number right here. If you wanted to email, you could actually click this email and it would allow you to draft an email from within the CRM. And this is going to come from your email address. So it's going to look like an email that you would send from Outlook or from Gmail. But you can draft it right here and you can choose if you want this email tracked. So tracked means you're going to get a notification when they open the email or when they click on a link that you put into the email. So those are helpful tools if you're actively selling and this person's a hot prospect. You want to follow up with them as soon as they're opening or clicking on that email with a phone call. Um, and so that's what that tracking tool is for there. Uh, so I'm going to close out of that email. And let's say that I just called John and he the, the conversation was positive and so he's a hot lead now. I can actually change his status right here from this view. So I don't have to click into John's contact and then click some edit button and then try to update the record and then hit save and then come back to this page and then lose the view that I was on before. I mean, that's how CRMs used to work. Uh, they were kind of a hassle to use for the sales rep, uh, but pipeline deals is super easy because you can update these fields from almost anywhere. And when you update it, it's automatically saved. You don't have to go to another page to save that information. Uh, so the, here's a contact page. It shows John's contact info in the upper right hand corner. And it also shows the total pipeline. So all the deals John's associated with are worth $5,000. He was last updated on 1217. And we haven't won any money yet with John. Uh, but this can be super helpful information, right? If we know that we've already closed $10,000 of business with John and we have another thousand in the pipeline, um, that's probably a much easier to close deal than somebody who's a fresh lead. We can also put in a summary here, and this summary could be uh, the last thing you talked about with them, next steps, where you met them. You can apply tags. So if you want to tag all of your leads, like uh, all the decision makers, all the existing customers, all the partners, vendors. Um, I used to use trade show names as tags so I could see all the people that I met at a previous trade show or that were going to be at an upcoming trade show. And all of those were really helpful for me as I sorted through my large list of leads. Uh, here's the deals that John is associated with. And then here on the right side is an agenda. So if I need to follow up with John, I'll add a task and I'll hit follow up with John. I'll save that task. And now when I come back to his record, I'll see that I need to follow up with him. Um, and I can set a specific due date for that task as well. Then as I keep scrolling, I can see my activity feed and activities are things like uh, left a voicemail to schedule a meeting. 
and then I'll choose my type so that was a voicemail and is it associated with the deal yes his web design project I'll add that note and now I have a log of all of the different activities that have been completed with John so over time as you develop a history with your customer you want to manage that history and that's what this tool allows you to do uh, so you have a feed of all of the different activities here if you click over to your deals tab a deal is a separate entity or record within the CRM and the deals list here is going to show you all of the different deals you have in your pipeline and you can again filter those by the stage um, the owner the next task people involved with the deal the companies I mean there's a number of different ways you could filter through this list so if you want to know all the deals that are worth five thousand dollars or more you could come into the amount right here and you could say value between five thousand uh, and we'll just leave max blank so that I have two deals in the pipeline worth five thousand or more or I could say I want to see all the deals between fifteen hundred and five thousand right and so then I'll show all four of these deals here uh, five of these deals that are between fifteen hundred and five thousand dollars I could filter this then or sort this by the deal size uh, from smallest to largest or from largest to smallest and all of these filters and sorting are very similar to using Excel so if you're familiar with the filtering and sorting rules in Excel then pipeline deals can be extremely easy to use for you you don't need to go through a ton of training to understand how this works it's very intuitive it works very similar to the other tools that you're used to using as a sales professional um, but it's a great way to manage all of your contacts and all of your deals now what's going on in the background when you're putting all this information into pipeline deals is you can it's actually aggregating that information and giving you some intelligence on the home page as to what you should do next so when you go to the home page you can see this section called my pipeline and the my pipeline section gives you an overview of your total sales pipeline right here broken down by deal stage and you can customize these deal stages to be whatever you want so you could say like marketing qualified lead sales qualified lead uh, you know demo negotiation one or you could do what I did here request for info nurture one uh, and you can customize as many of those deal stages as you want but as you mark those deals to their different stages they're gonna show up here in this list and you can modify this to show you uh, deals from this week this month this quarter and this year and then you can show all active deals or those that have an expected close date of this the time frame so all my deals that are expected to close this week for example uh, filters that down to just one deal or if I show this month you know now I have three deals that are supposed to close this month um, and it's real easy and pipeline deals is doing all of that for you in the background I didn't have to go through and set up some custom report to get all of this information it's just calculating that with the info that it's tracking I can also see my agenda from the home screen here my latest email interaction so who clicked or opened my emails uh, starred lists which you can customize and then deals slipping away so pipeline deals will notify you if they think that one of your deals uh, has gone too long without an update and that's a great feature because we all know that occasionally things will fall through the cracks and so having technology let you know what's missing is a great way to keep on top of what's going on so I hope this is helpful for you I also want to show you one last thing a couple last things here outside of the software uh, within your Gmail inbox you'll be able to click on an email and you have some different actions you can take with pipeline deals you can click this button that says file email to pipeline deals and that'll automatically log this email on the contact that is associated with the email address so here uh, you know Benjamin Arp has a, an email address and this email would appear on his contact page under that activity section we looked at before if you click maximize extension you can actually see all the deals that this person is associated with you can see your agenda for this person so for example if you got an email from a new prospect you could put in tasks here like follow up on Tuesday follow up on Friday uh, follow up next Monday and all of those would be tasks within the CRM 
but you're actually able to see it from within your pipeline deals uh, Gmail extension. You can also add specific events with start and end times or you can log activities. So if they emailed you and you figured, hey, it's actually going to be easier for me to give them a call uh, and you give them a call, you could log your notes right here. So uh, Ben had a question about our pricing, gave him the standard pricing sheet. Uh, we'll be making a decision by Tuesday. And then I can select a deal that that's associated with. I can choose what type. So I actually talked to him, phone call, add that activity. And now I can see that activity log here within the inbox uh, of all of those things that are also on the contact page within the Pipeline Deals software. Um, within my inbox, I can also see this little social selling area. Um, and this is real helpful because it gives you the basic information about who this person is. It gives you links to their Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And then if you actually go here and connect your Twitter, um, this will show you all of their most recent tweets here as well. And so this is kind of cool if you're using social selling and you want to retweet or star their recent tweets. So that way they're seeing your name in a different context, kind of outside their inbox, outside of their voicemail. Uh, that can be a real helpful tool as well. The last feature that makes Pipeline Deals pretty interesting to me is the Pipeline Deals contact importer. So a lot of us are on LinkedIn and as you grow your network on LinkedIn, um, those people are often not in your CRM, they're on your LinkedIn page. And so if you switch CRM software or you switch companies, um, you've got all these great connections here, but they're not in your CRM. So to add them to the CRM, it's as easy as clicking on their profile and then going to the Pipeline Deals extension button right here in your upper right hand corner within Google Chrome. And when you hit that, it's going to save them to Pipeline Deals. And then you can click on this button and actually go to the new contact record that was created for this person. So if you see something in your LinkedIn feed, for example, let me go back to the home page of LinkedIn here. Um, if I see, for example, that Lucas has a new job and he's a technical and creative recruiter at Cypress HCM, well, maybe I'll click on Lucas's profile and I'll add him to uh, Pipeline Deals. And then from his contact page here, I can actually shoot him an email that says, um, congrats to Lucas on the new position. And, you know, so I could draft a quick email here. I'll just do this in real time. So congrats on the new position. Are you guys using a CRM at Cyprus? And I can shoot this email over and follow up with Lucas. You know, so if you're watching your LinkedIn, there's some great signals here for when you should reach out to different clients and then they make it real easy to do this because if I didn't have this little button right here what I'd have to do is I'd have to go to Lucas's page click this drop down menu um, sorry not view recent activity I'm gonna click this drop down menu uh, actually I'm gonna click right here this button this is contact info and when I click contact info it shows me his email and so then I would have to go to pipeline deals and then I'd have to click the plus icon and hit person and then I'd have to put in his name manually and then I'd have to put uh, I mean, you know and I'm just entering all of this information manually and then I have to go back here and what was his email and I'm copying and pasting an email and all of this process is just super super time consuming uh, and so that that contact importer makes it really easy to get them from LinkedIn into your pipeline deals account hope this was helpful if you guys are interested in signing up for a free trial of pipeline deals to try it for yourself they give you 14 days free and they don't require a credit card which is awesome so you don't even need to get approval from your boss uh, you could just sign up for this and get started today uh, the link for that trial is below if you click that link, um, that would be awesome. It's a great way to get started. Thanks, guys.